Hey guys, I've just done a 3D text tutorial and I decided to do another one while I'm at this. So I'm going to do the patterns tutorial. Now patterns are quite easy to do if you know what you're doing. Um, for this one, we're going to do the scan lines. Okay, so we're going to set our um, name of our new file to scan. Preset to custom and we need 8 pixels by 8 pixels. You can also do the units of measurement down here. And doesn't really matter about resolution unless you're printing um, RGB color and 8 bit. And make sure it's background transparent. And that's all we need. So you're probably thinking that is really, really small. So we're just going to go to fit screen on our zoom in tool. And then we're going to get the brush tool. We're going to go to pencil by holding the brush tool down and it should already be set to one pixel if it's not change it and what we're gonna do is basically dot down here like so like that and then once we've done that you can either do it the other way as well which doesn't always work very well so we'll just go back and we're gonna go on edit define pattern I'm going to call it scan because I haven't got a red one yet. I'm going to call it red scan. Now we can go into our composition now and we can double click our layer to get up layer styles. Go to pattern overlay and go to the red lines. This is a nice scan line effect. Pretty straightforward to do. I did a black one earlier which looks quite good. And is good for adding detail. So that's just a simple pattern. Um, the next pattern I'm going to show you how to do is just something like text. Now I did this one ages ago for Lloyd. Um It was very simple to do. So I'll show you how to do that one. What we need to do now is go on new. We need to put our pixels to about 80 by 80. We'll go on actual on fit screen again, sorry. And we need to get our um, text tool. And we need to put our font size to about 17. So I'm just going to try type SCADA. And I want that in the middle. In fact, I want to make it so it switches sides each time. So now that we've done that one, we can duplicate this layer by pressing Control and J or right clicking the layer so we just want to keep duplicating so we've got about seven then we get the first copy pull that down here and we'll pull it across we got our next one pull that down here so pretty much we're just creating a ladder effect Do a few more of these, and one more, just so I can squeeze one on. And now, because we haven't, we've got loads of spare. We're just going to delete the top two, and we can obviously just play around with these. Move each one up. So the bottom one's got space. So you get the idea, really. You can play around with that as much as you want. Let's do a bit more. And that's about it. So we're going to defend this pattern. We'll call it Scarter. And go back to our layer we're gonna do the same thing again pattern overlay and we're gonna go to the one which looks like scatter so there we have that now obviously you can play around with the settings of the opacity and stuff which might what on it is a background watermark or something I don't know depends what you're doing so that's another one there this last one is gonna be the stars which is one which I use regularly on background so I'll just get up a background which I used on There we go. The 
this is just a basketball background, which I did for a guy who's obviously supports the Boston Celtics. So, there we go. That's just a star background effect, which has a really nice effect. So now I'm going to show you how to do that one. So we need to create a new one again. We'll put this to about 160 by about 160. We need to get a picture of a star off the internet. Um, you can find these by just typing in star, I guess. Um, I may have one of my pictures or I may have to go find one. I didn't want to open that one really. Alright, so file, open, star. There we go. This is the star I'll be using. Just a simple star. We're going to copy that in to the middle like so. And we may want to make this a little bit bigger. Once we've done that, we can do the same again. Edit, define pattern, and we'll call that one star. I'll just go back to my original layer again. And go on pattern overlay and star one. Now you're probably wondering how I got mine diagonal. I did it by creating a different um sorry, I did it by um how did I do it now? I'll just put a red background on there so you can see it a little bit better. And I'm gonna bring the full down fill down to zero. That way you can see the background as well. And you may want to bring the full opacity down. And I did it by creating a new layer, layer, clicking the pattern layer and that layer, and merging them by pressing Control and E. Then I did free transform, and I did it diagonal. And obviously I copied and pasted it, and did lots of those. Like this. You get the idea. So yeah, that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And there may be another one after this, because I'm in a good mood for making tutorials. So thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe. And the graphics, the background, yeah, sorry, the graphics back, I said it right the first time, will be coming out at 100 subs, and I will make that available to anyone who wants to download. Um, I'll just do a quick preview of that really quickly. I won't show you what's inside, but I'll show you some stuff. Um, Wait, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Brushes, fonts, layouts, and screenshots. So we've got textures. We've got all the fonts which I use daily. Well, not all of them. Um, some which I use which are worth getting. Um, layouts. And which are... I can show you them easier. Default YouTube background and partner YouTube background. Um, and brushes, the brushes which I like to use. So yeah, thanks for watching. That was Scada again. Um... Goodbye.